What should I do? Uncle Abba was really angry. I, I wonder if he'll hit me again. What should I do? I'm scared. I really should have just ignored that monster's howl. If only Lloyd hadn't attacked Palma Costa, I wouldn't be going through all this. Emil. Oh, uh, do you already know Richter? Uh, um, well... I asked him earlier if he knew of Marta's whereabouts. Ah, I see. Um, Richter? What is it? Well, um, the girl with the red jewel on her forehead, I... You saw Marta? Yes, well, you see... Where? Oh, well, um... Just calm down and try to explain what you saw. Lake Sonoa, um, where the monsters come out, just before... Enough! <laughs> Mayor, I'd like to take him with me. Can I count on you to take me to where you saw Marta? Yes? He certainly is determined. Take him to where you saw the girl. Just be careful of monsters, all right? Sorry to keep you waiting. You apologize too much. Of course, if you want to become a dog, I won't stop you. I'm sorry. Oh. Sorry. Stop apologizing. Anyway, I'm sorry for yelling at you earlier. <laughs> what are you waiting for? Hurry up and take me to where you saw Marta. Don't fall behind. I'm sorry. What do you think you're doing walking in front of me? Uh, sorry. Hey. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not angry with you.
You came back again? What's wrong with you, you demonic little brat? Hmm. A friend of the Vanguard, indeed. He may be your nephew, but you sure took in a real pest. I, I'm sorry. The mayor's given his permission for Emil to accompany me. Step aside. The mayor? B but... Move! What are you waiting for? Come on, let's go. Wait! There are monsters in there! Yes, and? I'm telling you, it's dangerous! You can go if you want, but leave him here with us! Didn't you just call him a demonic little brat? Emil, what do you want to do? I... Emil, you stay with us! I... Uh... Make up your mind. Even dogs can think for themselves. What does he think he is? Come on, let's go. I'm going with them. Emil! I'm going. Um, Richter. Let's go. Huh? Aren't you coming with me? Yes. Don't get in my way. You're responsible for protecting yourself. I'll bail you out if things get too tough. Okay. Alba really laid into you. Why didn't you say anything back? I'm sorry. You were like that with the kids in town as well. Bullies like that will never leave you alone if you don't stand up to them. Do you understand? Nothing will change if you just take it. Uh, I'm sorry. What did I say about over-apologizing? Oh, right. I'm not blaming you. You're free to do as you choose. Just don't be so submissive all the time. Have more respect for yourself. I can't tell if Richter's a nice guy or not. Emil, you fought monsters before, I assume. Huh? Um, I mean, well... Don't tell me you haven't. Um, I... only a little. So, then you have. Twice, I think. You think? Hmm? This one should do fine. A monster? What should I do? Stop panicking, for one. Children hunt monsters like this for fun. Um, but I... Relax. I'll give you instructions. Okay. Stop it! <laughs> 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 
Is that all? I'm sorry. I'm talking about the monster. I'm sorry. <sighs> There. That should be enough. What was that? It's called an art. You learn them the more you fight and develop your skills. Even I can learn them? You will in time. So, now do you understand how to fight? I... I think so. Don't worry. I told you, I'll back you up. I'm the one who asked for your help. I won't let anything happen to you. Okay. Um... What is it? Why are you... um... Why are you looking for Marta? Is that something you need to know in order to live? Um, no. I was just wondering. I have no need to satisfy your idle curiosity. I'm sorry. Don't apologize so excessively. Uh... I'm often accused of being short with people. I don't intend to change my ways, but it doesn't mean I have anything against you. Thank you. That's not something you need to thank me for. Oh, sorry. <sighs> Emil, stop! Pay attention. You almost walked right into a monster. Sorry. If you touch any monster you see walking around, you'll have to fight them. Got it? If you stumble into an enemy, as you almost did just now, they're likely to get the upper hand and attack you from behind. So the way you run into monsters makes a difference? That's right. Attacking an enemy from behind works out in your favor. But if they get behind you, they'll have the advantage. It's the same for both fighting and fleeing. Be aware of the enemy's direction and movements. Failing to do so can get you killed. Okay, I understand. And one more thing. I can't have you wandering in a daze like that again, so listen. It's not that I didn't appreciate your words of gratitude. I simply feel there's no need to give more thanks or apologies than the situation calls for. All right. We must express ourselves to convey our feelings to others. However, I feel emotions lose their strength once they're put into words. So I prefer to speak only what is absolutely necessary. That's all. Okay. This is the first time I've ever had to explain this much to anyone. Let's go. Enduring summer! Mortal Summer! What was that? Probably just a monster. Don't worry about it. Of course I'm gonna worry. Then you can wait here. What about you? There's a monster in there. Probably a strong one. Wait here until I take it out. But I... You'll just get in the way. Stay here. Okay. I'm just not cut out for this sort of thing. <laughs> Was that Marta?
What should I do? If things get dangerous, will you save me again? I don't know anything about her, but I can't just ignore it. Now, hand over that Ratatosk's core on your forehead. No. Then I'll just have to destroy it along with you. Stop! Stop it, please! Richter, what are you doing? I thought I told you to wait on the other side of the door. This is why you were looking for her? So you could kill her? That's right. Why? Because she is trying to awaken Ratatosk, the Demon Lord. Demon Lord? What are you talking about? I agree. It's quite a foolish name, but Demon Lord is the most appropriate term to describe what he is. If Ratatosk awakens, the world will be destroyed. No, you're wrong! Ratatosk is not a demon! He's the lord of all monsters! He won't destroy the world! I'm not interested in semantics. What are you doing? Step aside. No. Move! I'm not a dog. That's why I'm gonna make my own decisions. Emil. Thank you. I don't want to kill you. Move! I... I don't really understand what you two are talking about, but you can't do things like this. If you just talk this over... I thought I told you not to get in my way. Aqua, show yourself. You called, Master Richter? Take care of the boy. Just don't overdo it. A talking monster? Who are you calling a monster, you human? I'm a Centurion! Centurion Aqua! Now then, my cute little minion, remove the boy from our presence! Yeah. What was that? I won't be able to catch up with Richter with that thing in the way. Monster? I am not a beast. I too am a Centurion. Centurion Tenebrae. Centurion Tenebrae? You could never defeat the monster on the other side of this door as you are now. Forge a pact to become a Knight of Ratatosk. Then you will be able to accept Lord Ratatosk's power in battle. What do you mean? There is no time to explain. Lady Marta is in danger. But, I mean, you're just a monster, a centurion. I mean, and I, I don't know if... That how? Were you the one calling me? Lady Marta was looking for you. You saved her life and she has chosen you to be a knight. M me Now forge the pact. I'll make the pact. Understood. Emil, I command you, unleash the power within yourself. Awaken, hunter of evil!
spiteful Tenebrae! What are you doing here? Let's go. What? You want to fight? You're gonna regret this! The only one who's gonna regret this is you! Now come on! against me. What just happened? Lord Ratatosk's power took hold of you. It felt like I became someone else. Yes, that was Lord Ratatosk's power. I'm not quite sure I understand. Anyway, what happened to Aqua? I didn't even touch her. Centurions themselves do not fight. They employ monster servants to battle in their place. If their monsters are defeated, the Centurion's power will also fade. Right now, she is only unconscious. Oh, that's good. I didn't want to hurt her. Come, we must go after Lady Marta. Did I learn something just now? It appears you've acquired a skill. A skill? Yes, a special technique for battle. Skills are acquired by meeting certain requirements. Everyone has their own set of skills they can learn. Once learned, you can set which skills to use from the skill screen on the menu. Select whatever skills you think will be the most useful. However, the number of skills you can equip at one time is limited. The total points of all selected skills cannot exceed a character's skill point limit. So think carefully when setting your skills. Do you understand? Yeah, sort of. Do you really? I've got it, I think. This should be an interesting journey. You can. I have every confidence that you can save Lady Marta. <laughs> you must believe in your powers as a knight of Ratatosk. But I... Humans have a saying, seeing is believing. I, I don't think that exactly applies here. Anyway, thanks, Tenebrae. I'll give it my best shot.
It won't open. Richter must have sealed it off. Then what should we do? I feel a draft. There must be another passage somewhere. Perhaps you should use the sorcerer's ring to examine the walls. What's that? There, on your finger. Huh? That ring was given to you by Lord Ratatosk as a symbol of your pact. Magical power dwells within it. But I'm a human. Only elves and half-elves can use magic. Don't worry. That ring can be used by humans as well. Really? I guess I'll try it out. I see you finally noticed. I've been wondering when you would bring it up. I noticed right away. It just never seemed like a good time to ask. Along with the Sorcerer's Ring, those clothes are a symbol of your pact with Lord Ratatosk. It's vital that a Knight of Ratatosk present himself with a certain degree of elegance. R right. The outfit's fabric is prepared with a number of special incantations and hexes that make the garment waterproof, wrinkle-free, and mold-resistant. The design is meant to evoke Lord Ratatosk's fierce bravery and his subtle grace. The effect is mesmerizing. Wait a sec. One other question. Yes? What happened to the clothes I was wearing before? That is the darkness... Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, forget I said anything. The darkness is what? <laughs> hey, come on! That floor is gonna skin me alive if I lose those clothes. <laughs> Only the darkness knows. Ah, an imp. It will do nicely. Let us forge a pact. Pact? Your power as a Knight of Ratatosk is granted to you by Lord Ratatosk himself. However, he is currently in a deep slumber. As a result, the power he grants you is very weak. This is weak? No way! Lord Ratatosk is very powerful. As you gain experience and grow your abilities, it's crucial you continue to unlock more of his strength. But how am I supposed to do that? It's simple. We Centurions share a bond with Lord Ratatosk. If power is restored to the Centurions, Lord Ratatosk's strength will return as well. We can accomplish this by forging pacts with monsters. How does that work? As I explained earlier, Centurions do not engage in battle themselves. We use monsters under our control. A Centurion's power depends on the number and strength of the monsters it employs. I 